Now, for 18 years, the Blues Festival has issued a very special Blues Festival poster. A lot of people collect them. Yeah. And the man behind that is a man named Gary Houston. He comes up with his vision at what he calls his Voodoo Cat Box Studio. That's where he designs these Waterfront Blues Festival posters. Well, and we've been hosting this for four years now, and I know people have been coming a lot longer, but we have each poster hanging yeah. in the coin tower, so they're really, really cool. We actually got to meet him to see exactly what the lasting image of this year's Blues Festival will look like. I feel really honored. I feel really um, um, lucky. The poster starts with an idea. This year I was thinking a lot about Elmore James. Mm -hmm. Very raucous, uh, very loud. Um, kind of like, think, you know, 50s punk rock. He brought up the idea to the longtime festival artistic director, Peter Damon, and he found out this year marks the 100th anniversary of the birth of the blues legend, known as the king of the slide guitar. In fact, today started out with a tribute to him by the Rose City Kings. It's months of work for Houston in his North Portland studio. Believe it or not, February. Sometimes we're working on this in January. The old Portland Woolen Mills building filled with the Waterfront Blues Festival posters that he's created in the past. I have a few favorites. Inspiration from this year's poster came during a stop in Kansas City. I thought I kind of had the, the artwork for this one nailed down, and I saw a piece with a farm worker, the stance and the weight. And it was just kind of seeing that and thinking like, okay, I gotta re I gotta reconfigure this whole piece because that's the way he's going to be playing. From there, Houston creates a drawing, then a scratch board before it's scanned into a computer. Then some posters are printed along with t-shirts and postcards. But for Houston, he begins the tedious task of prepping for the limited edition screen printed posters, created one color at a time. I always want to go back and make changes. The finished product may not be perfect to him, but... I, think I want everyone to be happy with, with the work. I want, you know, it, and, and part of it, it's... I guess it's more about honoring, you know, the legacy of, of you know, the blues stuff.